Yeah. Where am I looking? Am I looking here? Am I looking? If you're looking here, you're looking at yourself. If okay, you're looking I'm here, look you're looking here. at the camera. Hey everybody, it's Nolan here, and I'm here hey. with my girl Agnes. Gang gang. So uh, <laughs> I guess I'm starting this off, and uh, I'm gonna be showing her my Tesla Model 3. Hey. I've been waiting on this bad boy for you're so good two at years, it. and uh, I mean two and a half years actually. So I just got it for about a month. So I think I know what I'm doing. So we're gonna show her. So what's like the ordering process? Um, so uh, it was announced in uh, March 31st, 2016. Elon Musk did his whole like display of it. Um, on on the YouTubes and after he presented it he was just like and the link is available now I found out about it like a week later through a, a, another vlogger youtuber I watch which one uh, Philip DeFranco oh Philip he's he's Philip a big one boy. so <laughs> shout out Phil um so ordered it at work I was like what the hell am I doing I haven't seen this car yeah a lot of ups and downs and t I'm gonna That's skip cool. I'm gonna skip I'm gonna fast forward two years later here we are you know so how did you have to like pay for it and stuff um, so it was an initial thousand dollar deposit just to like reserve okay, your spot and so then after that it was um, when they contacted me about like earlier this year like hey you can build your car it was 2500 to you know pick your color or the type of battery you wanted um, and you, you know your battery bit, yeah because it that determines the range and how far it goes oh, um, I wanted to get getting... a triple A battery <laughs> that's all I'm that, saying that's basically what it is it's a bunch of basic batteries that yeah. are compiled into these fat chunks that Oh. So that's pretty much it's I like. I want to see how it looks like. It's underneath the car, so we can't really oh. see it. But oh, cool. you can do some editing magic if you want and throw it in there. Um, uh, uh, Google. <laughs> Google it. <laughs> um, so for, pretty much fast forward, uh, 2500 to make my uh, pick. They let you know when it was ready, and then before you deliver, you guys, you know, whether you're getting a loan or you're paying cash, which I didn't do, but I kind of like that. Um, then you go pick up your paper. Your, they pick you. Uh, they send you to the spot. You sign your paperwork. They bring your car out, and it's yours. After that, of course, you make monthly payments if you did the loan. If you a baller yeah. and you dropped out 60k on it, then mm. kudos for you. <laughs> I was so excited because pretty much I almost didn't get it that day. Yeah. They were gonna deliver it at 12, then mm -hmm. they canceled my delivery due to some. What? So I had to. The devil was working that day. He was like working that. hard. I had to call like the, the Vegas location, the California location, Ooh. the marina. I pulled up on them anyway. Like, look. We you went to Vegas? No, no, no. Well, they have a, a location in Vegas that I had to call them, but it was out in Marina Del Rey to pick up the car, which okay. is not far from me. Um, and we made it happen. So I was excited to be there, but I was so focused on like, yeah. let's get this this done. Um, I, I didn't film the whole process, but just like well, just walking in, okay. just walking in, and after that, it was just like laser like, focus. Yeah, but it was great. It's my car. Yeah. I can't wait till I feel like that. But I want a car that everybody tells me not to get. They're like, that car breaks down. Like you don't want that car. And this like, is I like how everybody may tell you not to get this car because it is still kind of pricey at this point. But as far as safety and like utility, it's the best car you can ever pick. It's got five stars on all the yeah. safety. Um. You know, like it's electric, so yeah. that is becoming more of the norm. There's charges everywhere, and you save yeah. so much on gas. It's it's, a, it's very cheap. It's extremely cheap. Like, uh, just think about like if I wanted to fill this up, I'm getting 300 miles of range for about ten dollars. Yeah, that's what he said. About ten dollars. Yeah. And I think compared to gas, I'm not sure. Ten dollars can't. I mean, I'll probably get you like 20 miles or something mm -hmm. like that in, in gasoline mileage numbers so mm -hmm. it's, it's a huge trade-off like it's not even comparable mm -hmm. it's not even comparable for sure the model I have is the long range model um, I didn't get the autopilot feature um, which is like an additional 10k um, for that reason <laughs> it's 10k that I didn't have but um, it's cool because they give you a 30-day trial so it's Ooh. it's software so all, it's like so if you don't pay, they'll shut the car off. Yeah, from, exactly. From wherever they are. And exactly, and they can turn it on at any time. That's crazy. Just like a update, a update to your phone. As soon as you pay them, they're like, "Oh, you paid." Yeah. Connect your phone to your car to the Wi-Fi. It'll take like 30 minutes, and now yeah. you got autopilot. I'm um, glad I have a but it can card. No one can turn it off. <laughs> my car's true. already paid That's for. That's what so a lot of care. it came out to about um, about 50k. So um, I, yeah. I don't want to get too much into the financial detail, but that's that's how much the overall Around total. It is. Okay, so, like, what happens when you run out? I've driven a bunch of different electric cars. I've driven the Leaf, the um, the What's Ford the Focus, Leaf? the Nissan Leaf. You can oh. you can Google it afterward. Yeah. These are the different electric cars: Nissan Leaf, the Ford Focus 
Fusion, the Ford Fusion, and most recently, which I still have, is the the smart car. You know mm -hmm. what that is? The mm -hmm. two seater car. Yeah. That's like I this see big. all the Korean people with the. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's that was my side thing until like a week ago. So, <laughs> oh. um, so I still have the smart car. So just why did you get that car? It was I didn't know when I was gonna get this one, so I leased that one until oh. I got this one. But um, that was uh, and that car only goes 55 miles. This car goes 310. Okay. So that's like five. Yeah. Five of those trips. So the smart car is like a snail compared. It, go, it gets up, but you don't want to do that because your battery, instead of going yeah. this, it goes like this, you know. Well, I know battery problems. So, <laughs> exactly. Imagine that. So, um, uh, this car, it'll be really hard to run out if you out here. So, Thank you. Uh, oh, do the so this car has about like 310 miles, so it's really hard to run out. It, um, it has a navigation system you'll see when we get in that, um, basically you put in your destination and it tells you how much battery you're going to use mm -hmm. how much you're going to use getting there and if you want to go back if you'll make it or not and um say you you know say we're like going to vegas or something like that and obviously that's a long trip they'll yeah. say to make it to vegas you got to stop here and charge for this long and then you can go about your way so the, the car does a lot of the all the math and magic for you mm -hmm. so i feel like um to run out you really have to be pushing it and it gives yeah. you so many warnings like it's kind of just like you got to just be ignoring it so is there like wi-fi inbuilt into the car like, it does it has a uh, data built in so you pay it through your phone company or no at, well you know that was my thing at first as soon as i got off the lot i was like who's paying, <laughs> who's paying for this all this yeah. all this damn data yeah. you know who's paying for this but uh tesla they they allow it for free for now or it's it's free of charge um they do have plans i think in like late 2019 to like oh, okay. so maybe like 20 30 dollars i think i saw like 30 dollars for the year which is oh, not, okay. bad. That's not bad but um for now it's free and then of course if you're like near when i get to my house it connects to my wi-fi oh, okay. so it's, it's it can do both so cool. yeah well, see it comes with the uh projector thingy to so just, no, just I, I customized i added that oh myself. really yeah I did. if you didn't know what kind of car this is this is how you turn on the door and then this is the emergency latch and i pressed this by accident when you open the door this lowers automatically so it doesn't hit the trim oh so when okay. you do that it could damage it but it, the car is on oh. so it lowers it automatically okay i didn't know that i'm That's sorry fine. About this car is like right now it's an easy entry mode, so it's set up to like be easy to get out of the car. Ooh. But when I put it onto my profile, watch the seats. Ooh, okay. The seats adjust and the wheel adjusts to how I need it to be. Yeah. Um, another cool thing I'll do it. So if I go back, the seats will move back. Everything is done from this screen. So like, if I want to adjust the wheel. On here is cool. They had this thing called Slacker. Slacker Radio, which isn't the best. It's like Pandora. You can't pick exactly yeah. the song you want, but it'll play like songs. It'll play you that song radio. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You can connect your phone, USB. It's pretty useful. Again, it's connected to the the, the data provided by Tesla. Yeah, which is pretty cool. Other settings like a calendar. I haven't linked that here. How much energy you're using mm -hmm. um, your rear view camera is not only for reverse you can actually use it at all times oh. when you're driving that's a cool feature there um, so yeah you ready to take off yeah i'm so ready if this whole video was pretty <laughs> i would cry i would tell people like i was in a tesla and no one would believe me <laughs> maybe down chino ave that seems like a nice stretch yeah let's go down chino ave Mode. So basically, okay. chill mode it just keeps the you know it's harder to accelerate fast on this one. Oh. So it's just for more common driving, and now of course we'll see the difference as I take off until we get past paid and drive. 
Oh, that's cool how it like has like um cars next to you. Yeah, you can definitely. The camera, there's like eight cameras in total on the car. Okay. So they're always looking around, see so they can see the other cars, pedestrians, motorcyclists. They're not super powerful cameras, but they're enough to you know, recognize yeah. the cars. I don't know if this means it's gonna be a copyright issue. Should I turn it on? Yeah, a little bit. To know things. <laughs> oh, okay. You say you don't have a soundtrack for your car. Like, there's not a song that comes to mind when you're, um, I don't know, whipping it. You're on the freeway. I listen to my most recent. The little baby, Jacquees. The little baby. I just like having that around. <laughs> I only know lovely Mimi as a <laughs> Like, who is that? Shout out to lovely Mimi. <laughs> as you can see, the car's real quiet. No yeah. like, motor noises. Oh, no mine will be like, cha-ching, cha-ching, <laughs> clock, clock, clock. <laughs> Especially, I need new brakes. I need new front brakes. So, it's been making a lot of like, like a door, yeah, like a door squeal. squeaking. Right. Push it just a little bit. Push it, okay? Okay. Okay. I brought like 20 dudes and I was like, I'm a weirdo! I know kickboxing we're gonna start so Cause I'm gonna wow. duck to the Pretty I've never been That's this other way. Shot. Yeah. Send it to me. Gosh, how fast am I going? 88 miles. I've never even driven that fast in my own car. <laughs> how are the brakes? It's really good. Yeah. It's really good. So when you let off the gas or the electricity, it automatically slows down the car. It starts to turn the, the gears the other oh, way and it sends okay. energy back to the battery. So you rarely have to press the gas. Like okay. this is me pressing the gas. Okay. When you let it off, the car already starts to slow down. Yeah. So this next, like, we'll see how the zero to sixty is like. I think it's like four point four seconds. Maybe it's good. <laughs> uh, let me know if I'm going too far. I'll turn. I'm just here for the right one. So um, another thing is uh, the autopilot. So when you're driving. Oh, I forgot about that. Should we go on autopilot on the freeway? Or you can do it here, you're not, I mean, it's, it's the same thing that you can do it here, so you'll see this symbol right here. So what I do is, double tap here, okay. and it keeps me in the lane that I'm in. Ooh, hands free! So the car knows oh, the and it curves! Can it last on autopilot before it tells you like, oh, keep your hands back? It does, depending on how fast you go. If you're in stop and go traffic, it'll like every minute, every three minutes. But if you're going fast, it's like every few seconds, because again, you're going fast. It doesn't yeah. want you to be out of, you know, out of control. Yeah. You see, it picks up the lane. You know, noticing the car in front of us is slowing, so it's slowing yeah. down. It picks back up. That's so cool. <laughs> so what can you do with your hands right now? I mean, you're supposed to be, still be on here, yeah. if you, you know, they're going to release the fully automatic, so when yeah. basically when you're at oh, home, that's scary. where I'm going, and then you just takes you all the way to your destination, that's like a year off, but, um, you know, answering emails, just, it makes those long okay. trips less, Stir -fry. like, I used it the whole way here, pretty much, because I was on that freeway, so I just, like, got into the most left lane, Yeah. Um, autopilot, <laughs> coasting to an 80.
supposed to be my own car, but it's me driving, not the auto <laughs> So one of the cool things we have here is... Christmas lights. Selfie. So I have here. A selfie. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, I didn't do it. Show oh. <laughs> a person on a bike. Wait, other cars. <laughs> Only I don't think like that. <laughs> that's a good idea. Maybe they should enact it. So that's that part. Which I don't know. The cow goes. It's a reference from Shump Show. I don't know what it is. Okay. I hear the cowbells. <laughs> So it's basically Guitar Hero on the road. Kind of. <laughs> That's what it looked like to it me when like I saw it. I gotta have more cowbell for Is it a black show? This feature replaces the map with a map of Mars. What? Um, how scary. But I don't know how that kind of tracks it, but I never see it move. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look like it moves. There's like no arms, and then that's all they are. They just teleport. I wouldn't doubt it. At least the place. That's the cool It changed that to a car to a spaceship. It goes back to being a man. Ooh, Las Vegas, Tijuana, Mexico, we like it. The city. <laughs> so all those little red dots are the superchargers. So oh, that makes sense. If, if you click one, it'll tell you like how many people are using them, how many stalls are free, how much it is, what's around there. That too? One out of twelve stalls. So that means 120 it's a bunch of kilowatts max. Twenty-six cents per kilowatt. Okay, so you won't go broke with this car. No, no, no. Except for buying it <laughs> in the beginning, and then after that, it's like You're smooth good. sailing. Oh, and you can hard it too to save it. Save it, so. Let's say we're going to Las Vegas. Show you the navigation. There's a camera here. Oh, dash cam. There's a camera up here that's pointing out. Um, and you attach a USB with it and allows you to, to download your footage as you're driving. Oh, okay. There's a charger port for your phone. So um, this closes up. So you're meant to put your phone away. And then it, this is a clean surface here. Yeah. You can see that here. Nice flush surface. I put a, a protector on here. So if you see any air bubbles, that's why. Okay. It's a protector on here to keep from getting scratched up. Yeah. But yeah, this opens up for more storage. It comes with an Android and a, I guess an iPhone charger if you have one of those. 
Yeah, it's the same. <laughs> <laughs> if you have an iPhone, I mean. whoever has one of those, then you can put it there. And then, uh, some okay. more storage Charge space it. here. Charge A, you know what I mean? Um, more charger space. No dash. We got the nice premium wood up here. <laughs> it's a wood? Yes. Yeah, no, this right here is wood. Oh, this. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm this is probably some type of plastic. If you turn on navigation, yeah. But okay. it's just like, no, the map, having the, the, the camera on right here. Oh, yeah. That's that would be distracting. So I'll leave the map. I'll be like, hella paranoid. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get too close. Reminds me of the Grove. Have you been to the Grove? I was just gonna say that. I don't go too often. Yeah. But it's like the street this way. <laughs> How much are you worth? <laughs> yeah, the price tag. Including your dreads. Half a million. Oh, no, the dreads. That's dreads and maintenance. That's thirty k. That's thirty k on top. <laughs> I hope to be worth half a million one day, maybe a million. If I keep working hard. You should say I'm priceless and no one can come. Okay, edit. <laughs> Start now. I'm priceless. <laughs> Nice. You heard the guys the most wonderful time. Oh, no, it ain't. <laughs> it's the time to go broke. <laughs> That's why it's the wonderful time of the year. All that money yeah. you spent <laughs> <laughs> on other people. I assume on myself. Oh, <laughs> on yourself. <laughs> For the first year, I just spent fixing up the house, getting it better. Yeah. Trying to build. Crazy. What's the vibe here? What's like, is it fancy? Um, it looks fancy. I don't think it's that fancy, but it just looks it. It's like me. <laughs> using it even if you're
you think you're not picky, huh? I'm not at all. Crushed it. <laughs> Oh, there it goes. It says location 1391 Peyton Drive. Yeah. It's that way. I'm trying to get away from this family. It's my kids. Why is that going Because child labor laws. <laughs> hey, did you hear about that little kid on YouTube who made like $22 million reviewing toys? Ryan? What's his name, Ryan? I think so. Because my uh, a lot of my nieces and nephews, they watch the uh, kid reviews. Honey, I mean, uh, yeah, toy that's reviews. Like a, that's, that's like a thing. Yeah. They're like, they don't want the toy, they just want to watch reviews of it. Yeah. Wow.